This is my propane tank. I'm going to mount up the four holes on top with the flange there. That's what's going to bolt up to that all thread. And I'll cut an access door to the outside for the fill and stuff. That's a 20 gallons tank. Should be enough for a good little stay out in the boonies. So that's what we wanted instead of little individual tanks. We've had those before and this one that you just drive up and let them fill it up, I think it'd be a lot more easier. I don't know if that's said right, but who cares? Because uh, that's what we try to do is make stuff easier for us in the long run. So there it is. Uh, get it mounted and catch you next time. This is where I'm mounting my propane tank up underneath our shuttle bus. You can see I put, uh, they call it Unistrat. It's bolted across two of my I-beams. And then I got half inch rod hanging down from it that my propane tank will just slide right up on and bolt up to. Uh, the yellow line there is the gas line that's coming to it. You can see the, I used the white plastic pipe as a sleeve in this one, but it's about a half or a quarter inch thick, so it protects it from anything going up through the floor. And I've actually been encasing this down the other way in some other stuff too, just give it a little extra protection. But that's where the unit truck goes. That's where the propane tank uh, be lifted up onto. I'll try to get a four jack under here and lift it up and get it in place and bolt it on. my propane tank up where it goes it's pretty easy getting up I lifted one side up and put a, one bolt on and then the other bolt and then use the floor jack there to lift the other side up and get the bolts on getting ready to tighten it up uh, underneath there I'm putting the permanent uh, they call it a thread lock so it keeps a nut or a bolt from coming loose so there's like red and blue and the red is permanent I think the blue is if you ever want to take it off again and I don't want these coming loose or nothing so I'm using actually the red and then what I do a lot of times I'll take a chisel and right underneath the bolt put a little ding in it and that messes up the threads just enough to where it won't come loose but if you did have to just take a hacksaw and clean it out lower it back down so that's kind of where it sets there it kind of hides up underneath there should work out just fine like say it is a 20 gallon tank i'll have to make a access door for a fill but that's no problem so there it is uh, we'll go ahead and finish tightening her up kind of tight back here under the bed but i'm going to try to show you what i've been doing this is my water heater right here and there's the gas line for it you can see where I started cutting the hole on the inside to uh, cut the hole all the way through to mount the water heater so that's where it's gonna go and that's the gas line that's coming up to it that'll hook into it and this water heater is a uh, electric and propane so we'll be able to heat it off our excess solar so that should help us out on the consumption of propane so like I say there's the water heater it's gonna go in the square that I start cutting out here uh, there is that one cross uh, one inch channel steel so it's a cross brace, so I'll have to cut that out. And then I'll see if anything jiggles or see if it messed something with the structure and maybe weld something around in its place. Um, on the other side here is my furnace. It's going to be a ducted furnace. And over there where the little black X is right above the outlet thing that goes on the outsides where it cuts in at and you might be able to see the gas line right beside it that's coming up for it so my three gas lines are up here and 
that way I can start finishing the propane tank on the outside too. We've had a few other things come up. So the shuttle bus kind of got put on the back burner here for another day or two and then I'll get back with it and hopefully I'll have too many more days off because we need to get with it and get it going. But anyhow, that's where the furnace is going. There's the furnace, the ducted furnace LP, and it just fit right out the side on this side. That right there is our gas line for our range. Our range would be cut in right here. It'd be a slide in. Up there is the range, so it's an oven and a three burner range. It's going to be cut in here and slid in. We'll use some uh, probably quarter inch concrete board so we can keep the clearances on the side in the back. It has clearances that it wants. So when we use concrete board, it helps you out with your clearances because it's not a combustible material. And so the unit itself. We'll just cut right in here and I'll have a, like a pocket that it just slides right into and sit right on top of the countertop. Thanks for watching these. Time's getting short. Gotta go. We'll catch you on the next one.